Hello friends, welcome again to the watch world. So now today we are here with another model from Casio Edifice. So the model name is EX240. Now this is from the latest series of Casio Edifice. So we'll be trying to understand what the watch is all about, having a close look of it. And I'll give you some of my feedback on the watch. The rest Casio Edifice is a very popular brand here in India. So I'm sure the watch would be a, one of the greatest model of the same. But still, let's see how things flare up. So first thing first, the model number. It's EX240. So the Indian model number for the watch is EX240. The international model number for the watch is EFR547SG 7AV UDF. And the price here in India as of now, as of Jan 2018, is 9995. That is near to 10,000 rupees. Now you can google it up for better pricing options here in India. The watch is coming with Casio India warranty and uh, so there is a booklet that comes with mentioning the you know the service centers here in India and uh, so this is a list of service centers here in India. Then this is the whole package that you get the box uh, and the white cover over it. So there is the watch. So there's the watch, the manual. So this is one simple graphic, display graphic, which is which calls it as Super Illuminator. As you can see, there are two LED lights. So if you can read out here, Super Illuminator lights up the tile with high brightness white LEDs. Let's see how things look up. And uh, again, it's showing up as the face of the watch under dark. So I'm sure it's pretty much of light for the watch. Uh, other than that, there is the Casio Edifice warranty card which comes with 2 years of warranty. So let's have a closer look of the watch now. So great. Uh, so exactly the color of the watch is uh, silver and this is white and this is a combination of silver and rose gold. So, so we'll see the dial for like later on and uh, I'll just show you the straps. So since it's a brand new watch, we'll not open the laminations. Let have a, let's have a closer look over here, if you can see precisely. This is like a polished finish of stainless steel watch. So there's one button over here, then there are two buttons over here and the crown. So thickness is general in terms of Casio edifice, generally watches are this much thick only which is decent for a medium wrist size. So definitely people with small wrist won't prefer this watch, but medium and large wrist people might, might be preferring it. It should be good for daily wear, daily office wear, and for functions and parties. Uh, the watch supports a single clasp lock in it. Let's have a look of it. So this is a single clasp lock. You have to press these buttons just to open it. So this pin is very sturdy. So they have a good feedback of single lock, but generally watches edifice comes with the double clasp lock as well. Behind the watch, just read out. The model number is here, EFR 547. And the model number is here, which is which reads out for the manual, 35372. As we can see, 5372. And there are pretty more booklets in it international warranty card and some more papers in Japanese language so uh, that's the back of the watch uh, on the back there is simple stainless steel finish there are these are all adjustable straps and uh, you can alter as per your wrist you can get it done from any of the local retailer or dealer so let's now focus on the dial of the watch So coming up and close with the dial, we see there are uh, three sub dials and one date and this is the hour and this is the minute needle and this is the seconds. So as we can see the watch is having two buttons over here and one button here. Uh, precisely the watch is a chronograph watch, chronograph is basically stopwatch. So with respect to the regular timekeeping, the watch also shows you a stopwatch. So let's try and read out how stopwatch works. So as we play the stopwatch, we'll be able to understand the subdials as well. So these are the three subdials. So let's see. 
so after so this is the button generally uh, to start the stopwatch i'm just doing it right now one two and go so as i started this dial started rotating and uh, this dial has moving like a second if you can see it's like moving one second uh, per second so this is a second dial uh, so tentatively this should be the minute dial uh, if you come up and close you can see it's like till 60 minutes so the chronograph and the stopwatch limit will be of 60 minutes and after that the stopwatch will stop so as we can see this is moving very fast you might be uh, not aware that this is actually a split second dial so the particular watch has a function of 1 by 10 split second so it means that the particular watch is traveling so like from this red to this red in one second one 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 so from zero to zero it's going in one second so same is the case it's like one by five and generally uh, one by ten seconds or one by twenty seconds this thing works only for a minute so after the minute this will stop why because faster races needs microseconds and uh, if in case the race is more than a minute then it's not known as a fast race uh, this is date so as we can see we are like you know we already under the discussion we have spent one minute of ours so this thing has moved a little bit forward so i'm sure this is the minute dial let's just stop pause the stop uh, chronograph as I pause it, we can see that everything has stopped. Now I'll press this button to reset it. So this moves anti-clockwise and you know resets back to zero zero. And again, this is the date. Now the setting would be very simple. Well, single click for date, double click for double pull for time setting. So this is the watch precisely and uh, just wanted to thank you all for watching our videos and we'll be definitely adding more models to the kitty and uh, you'll be more aware about the watches and uh, again coming back to the basic point first thing first you need to subscribe to this page to this channel on youtube because we are doing like we will be doing a lot of hard work to get you all the watches you know hands-on reviews so just subscribe to the page so that you get latest notifications also if you have any issues related to any watch if there is any question in your mind related to any watch you can always message us through comments or messages and we'll be happy to respond to them if in case we see there are messages related to a particular function of a watch multiple times from multiple user we'll make a video for it and show it to everyone rest uh, again thank you for watching the video and uh, please do subscribe and share it on your Facebook and social media page so that more and more people join. This will, this will all keep us motivated for the same, you know, to get us more videos for the watches. So let's wait for the other watch video to come up really soon. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.